Defense, and I'm a cyborg. Part human, part machine, cyborgs are normally consigned to the screen. But by making his eye into a camera, Rob Spence has turned fiction into fact. I have a prosthetic eye with a uh, camera right in the eye. Rob's eye isn't connected to his brain, but it does record everything he sees. I use this magnet and just wave it near the camera. So then I'm ready to become Iborg. Okay. So I just pop it in and just gotta get it in there snug. And so wow. there it's in. A team of engineers work with him to produce the eye using an endoscope camera. I can pull it out relatively easy. You just go like that. And it's my own eye. I'm filming myself with my own eye. Weird. Yeah, so there's a Weird <laughs> there's a battery in there, a camera. So the, the, this is essentially a video transmitter. So this transmits video through the air to a receiver, and then that becomes the video source and plug it into whatever you like. The body may heal. This video game is set in the year 2027 and imagines a world in which cyborgs are the norm. The makers commissioned Rob to look at current technology to see how far away from their fictional world we are now. Part of what's going on, I think, is these engineers have watched too much Star Trek and have been inspired by it, and they go and build stuff that you've seen in the movies. Like, you know, like, people say, well, no one would ever cut off their arm and replace it. If the technology gets there, which it looks like it will, People will think about it. They might be what you'd call an early adopter, <laughs> a really early adopter, but people are going to have the option of having superior limbs, superior eyes uh, at some point. And so I think a lot of people will do it. So maybe the Bionic Man and Terminator weren't as far-fetched as we thought. Lucy Cotter, Sky News.